So today the subject is verse 46 and 47. And first of all, I pray for the mercy of my Guru and all the Vaishnavas that my words, what I would like to share, are inspired by their grace. And that Radha Mohan will be pleased. And all the Vaishnavas are pleased, Radha Mohan, pleased. So thank you for coming and doing this service together, listening and speaking are two things that are always in connection with each other. Without the listener, there's no uh, meaning of anyone who wants to share. So the two verses that I found of the lotus words of Srila Naratam Das Thakur are so full of beautiful description of the beauty of Radha Moha. Shri Mukha Sundara Vada Hema Nila Kanti Dada Bhava Vushana Kulu Shukha Their exquisitely beautiful faces carry a golden and blue luster and are beautified by ornaments of ecstatic love. So this is the subject today. What are these ornaments of ecstatic love? Nila Pita Vasadhara Gaurishyama Manuhara Anta Nila Bhave Duhuloba Their complexions are golden and blue and their garments are blue and golden showing that they carry love for each other in their hearts and that they are yearning for each other. Actually, I wanted to first speak about verse 47 and 48, but then I realized that 46 is like an entrance of the beauty, of the beautiful faces of Radha Mohan. They are golden and blue, and they are beautifying each other. And how are they making each other more beautiful? By the arm and ornaments of their ecstatic love. And that is the subject of the two verses. What is ornamentation? And how is the feeling that the bridge bases have for Radha and Krishna? expressing this ornamentation. And especially for us, how do those realized souls who are already in touch with their eternal bodies and eternal services to Radha Mohan express their feelings of their ornamentation? And it's in the commentary, Srila Nantadas Babaji and also Srila Vishwana Chakravati Thakur expressing that the extraordinary speciality of the transcendental poetry of experienced and sensitive poets is that hearing and chanting it will easily bring similar experiences to the hearts of sensitive devotees. So that is a very, very beautiful thing. It is that the poetry 
of those who are experienced in their relationship to Radha Mohan and who are expressed by those who are sensitive, when we hear that, it gives us already a feeling. That means we are hearing and chanting the feelings of those, about the feelings of those who are already seeing Radha Mohan, hearing Mar Radha Mohan and serving Radha Mohan. So that is already a, a very extraordinary speciality of transcendental poetry. That is something that only someone who can, you know, have experiences can express in the same way. Like, for example, if someone is speaking about the love of Radha Mohan who has no relation to Radha Mohan, it will not have the same uh, feelings also to those who are listening about it. But when we are listening to Srila Naratam Das Thakur's beautiful, beautiful words and feelings, Shri Mukhasun Dara Vara, they are so beautiful. They have such a beautiful face. He tries to express it to us, to the world, to his brothers, to his sisters, to his disciples, to those who are reading Shri Prema Bhakti Chandrika now. He is trying to express his feelings, and that's why he has had this experience. And that's the reason when somebody has the experience, something comes across in a different way, right? Because then it is filled with the realizations. That's why we like to listen also from Gurudev, from the sadhus, from all the devotees in Munga Raj Mandir who are living in the deep feelings of devotion. We want to also feel in the same way. We want to learn to feel it. And that is the blessing. That when one hears from someone who has feelings, then the similar feelings is, will come in the heart. And that's why the Sangha is so important. So, and also Srimati Radhika's position is again glorified here. She is the crown jewel of Gopikas, Baha Baba Moi. And her presence, the ocean of Krishna's sweetness increases greatly. Means when they are meeting each other, then this is already an ornamentation for each other. Because Srimati Radhika is so full of feelings for Mohan, also automatically Mohan gets these beautiful feelings. And when Srimati Radhika sees his moon-like face, face, then also her sweetness is increasing. So there are the transcendental divine ornaments to each other. And how they ornament each other is also very nicely explained. Abharana mani maya Pratyam de avinaya Kohodina naratamadasa Nishi di shigunagai Paramananda pai Manavara e Abhilasha. Now I'm singing the verse seven, uh, 47. Jairadi Gurudev, please bless me today. Sweet. <laughs> again, please. Gurudev says. Dada Rabi, what? Yes. Sweet, slowly. 
Abara namani maya Pratyange abhinaya Koho duina narotama dasa Abarana Each of their limbs is decorated with jeweled ornaments. Abhi abarana mani moi these are the jeweled ornaments what they are dressed with. They are actually they are the ornaments who are getting blessed by being the ornaments. Prakti Yange Abhinai. Just as actors are decorated, their limbs are decorated with jeweled ornaments. Nishi di shi gunagai Paramanda ananda pai I sing the glories day and night Nishi di shi gunagai Nishi di shi is night and day I sing them Nara Thomas says and this is the highest bliss, just to sing about their beautiful ornamentation and how they are decorated with jeweled ornament ornaments. And Mane Mora Abilasa. This is the desire of my, on my mind. Naratam Das, he is so in love with the divine couple. Of course, especially with Shrimati Radhika because she is her dasi. And she is glorifying the beauty when they are together. When they are together, then their ornaments become more beautiful. So, the, te the subject is ornamentation of, of Yuga Lakushore, and this is such a, um, you know, it's a very relishable subject because there are different kinds of ornaments that the, the uh, divine couple are, are having. They are having their ornaments of ecstasy. First of all, it's their love that they have for each other. For example, when they see each other, when Shrimati Radhika sees Mohan, then there's more ornaments coming to her. She was already nicely decorated at home in Yavat. And she had the nice kajal, she had the nice hair done. She was ornamented with beautiful, beautiful jewels. But when she is finally coming, to see him, then they are the ornaments of ecstasy. And that is her tears. Her tears start dropping. Because whenever she comes in direct contact with Mohan, all her bhavas, her feelings are increasing a million times. And that's why her body is developing natural ornaments. And these natural ornaments are her tears, her goosebumps, and also her smile and her rasika madness. Because when she is together with Mohan, when she comes, for example, Walking in the morning from Yavat to Nandagaon to cook for Mohan in the kitchen of Yashoda Ma, then all these ornaments, they become so present in her body that Shimati Radhika sometimes feels very shy because she's going on a very also kind of big road. Usually, when she goes to meet Mohan on Abhisa, 
the roads are very hidden and small. So important, not me. Usually she goes in the jungle, usually she goes to a kunj. But if she goes to meet Mohan publicly, like to Maya Shoda's house, where all the superiors are there, um, yeah. Baba, Yashoda, then it is very difficult for Shimati Radhika to keep her countenance, to hide all her feelings. <laughs> and then Shimati Radhika says to her bigger friend, Lali Same thing Mahatma and I were saying, how merciful that we're so fixed. Daddy, I'm sorry. Uh, I can hear your voices here in Gurudev's room. Maybe you want to mute the... Yes, thank you. <laughs> so usually when Shimati Radhika walks the way to Nandagaon, then... She is uh, shy in the morning and she tries to hide her ornaments of love. She tries to hide also her excitement. She tries to hide how shy she is. And she says to her friend Lalita, oh, do we have to go this way? I feel uh, there are pebbles in my, you know, I feel this is a very difficult road to walk. And then her friend says, oh, my dear Radhika, are these not the pebbles in your heart, the stones in your heart that you cannot uh, wait to see your beloved Mohan? And the maidservants who are walking with them, they try to hold them also. She tries to hold. Tulsi Manjari is trying to hold her wrist, always trying to assist and then all these natural ornamentations that come with the ecstasy, ecstasy of Shrimati Radhika is there. And she is completely overwhelmed by her feelings and she is afraid to show her feelings. That's why she is also covering her head with her veil. Because in that moment, all her feelings become so intense that it's difficult to hide them. And all the maidservants and all the girlfriends who are with her, they also help her and they are also excited. But then when Srimati Radhika is so shy, Lalita says, there is no reason for you to be shy. You were called. Mother Yashoda called you. You are called and invited by all the superiors. So there's no reason for you to be afraid. So, and then there are the ornaments on the bodies of Radha Mohan. That is Krishna. He has a Kostuba jewel, jewel, a very beautiful jewel. And uh, Shimati Radhika has a Shyamantaka jewel. And in the morning already, Mother Yashoda ornaments Krishna. She is also giving her, her, her ornamentation. And all the, the mandaris, they have ornamented Srimati Radhika. So there are so many kinds of ornamentations what they get, plus they have their emotional ornamentations. And this is what this verse is about, how they are dressed with different dresses according to their feelings. That's why Srimati Radhika is in blue often, and Mohan is wearing a golden or yellow peaten bar. So Lada Tongas Taco is singing their glory so that they can also be happy with his service. He will be blessed. But actually, Baba says that the devotees have no really personal desires for personal happiness. So what is that when he says Parama Ananda Pai? Mane Mora E Abilas Nishi Dishi Guna Gai Parama Ananda Pai. When he says that I want this happiness, then it is that he wants more thirst for more service. He only wants the happiness not for himself, but so that he be able to please Radha Mohan more and more. 
And that is Baba is saying that the devotee is never aspiring for any separate happiness, the pure devotee. And also he said he says here that through bhakti, which is the very form of service to Krishna, Krishna himself comes into the heart of the devotee and is giving this happiness. And that's what we know also as servants of Srimati Radhika. We always know that this is the, the main thing, that your happiness is my happiness. Srimati Radhika, whenever you are happy, then I am happy. That is the goal of the maidservant. And that is also the goal of Nara Tomastaku. And that's why he is singing day and night about their beautiful qualities. And also this singing is their ornamentation. Singing is also giving ornamentation. Isn't that a beautiful uh, meditation? That's why Gurudev, you love so much the singing of the Bengali singers. Because when you hear them, it's like the picture is coming in front of your eyes of their feelings and of what they are singing about. Because you are so lucky, you can also understand a Bengali, which is full of emotions. So that's actually also the secret of our uh, tradition, the Sringara Ras. What is the meaning of Sringara Ras? It means the emotional decoration and all the services that we do, whether it be here in our Sadaka Deha, when we are dressing our Takojis and we are putting flowers, and when we are singing or when we are speaking, it's all supposed to be a decoration. And it's not the decoration of myself. That would be a very low kind of interest. That is very selfish. But it's the, it's the decoration of Srimati Radhika in our case. We always want to see her more and more decorated in her own glories. That's why the Mandris love to see and hear when they are talking and when Mohan is serving Srimati Radhika. Because that's the highest service that uh, any situation situation could bring about. And with all that the Dasis do is that they want to increase the Shringa Ras, the ornamentation of the next service. They are ornamenting with their words, uh, with their singing, with their, you know, putting dress and putting jewels, but also Radha and Mohan are ornamenting themselves with their sidelong glances. And the Mandaris, they always want to bring about these moments where this can happen. So all their ornamentation, like Gurudev, you always say that, is that their ornamentation's goal is that they, it will be broken again when they come together and when they are meeting in one of those beautiful, beautiful kundras in the different places during the day where they have always their secret meetings. <laughs> you want to correct me, Gurudev? Is this correct what I think? Oh, very nice. <laughs> uh, can, I, can I add on something? Uh, Yes. The, so that's a wonderful explanation and uh, such a wonderful verse. You're right. It's one of the most important ones because it's about the, one of the most uh, mysterious things in emotional life. And that is the relationship between love and happiness. In the spiritual world, um, Radha and Mohan, they don't have love. They're completely 100% made of love. It's pure love. Very strange idea for us uh, sadhikas to understand. But this is what it says. And then the ornament, like you said yourself, 
This is the, the ecstasy bubbling up out of this pure love, bubbling up to the surface of their bodies. And then we, sadhikas, and also the manjaris who are there, can see and, and have some insight into this love that they have, which is invisible to, to us, to the manjaris as well. And when they do their service well, the ecstasy bubbles up in form of ornaments, and then they can see and enjoy and then want to give more. Like you said, really. Wow, really so yes. Yes, at one point, uh, they are preparing for the ornamentation that starts in the morning when they, they uh, you know, they flush the, the beautiful hands. We had this on uh, the other day on our Zoom conference, how when Srimati Radhika's hands are flushed by water from the mandris, from the golden pictures, then this red color of her love, this this passionate love is going from her hands into the water. So like you said, all the all the feelings, they come out at any moment. And the mandris, they always want to increase the feelings of, of Srimati Radhika, whether she be in separation or also when they are together. The mandri is always looking for a next chance to serve these feelings and to increase the feelings of their meeting or make them feel united when they come together. So thank mm -hmm. you, Udapaji. This is very nice that you have, uh, you know, kind of put this all together. And it's all... Um, it's all a service, how to ornament in the morning and then in the kitchen after Srimati Radhika is going to the kitchen, they take off the ornaments, but then especially she looks so beautiful when she has only a very simple sari and when she is sweating in the kitchen, then the drops of her perspiration, they are also her ornaments. So this is all um, a feeling that is going on between the Dasis and Srimati Radhika and of course all the bridge Vasis who are surrounding. And when Srimati Radhika comes to, uh, for example, to, Yava, uh, to Nandagaon, to Mother Yashoda's kitchen, um, also very beautiful, her feelings of to Mother Yashoda, this parental feelings is also expressed in a very beautiful way. Like Mother Yashoda is smelling her hair and uh, embracing her, and Shimati Radhika is, is very shy. Because also, when she just saw before Mohan, she really has to keep herself together. Because now, uh, once Gopinath said it so nicely, uh, the feelings of the relation between Radha and Mohan and the feelings of Mother Yashoda. When they meet, Srimati Radhika always has to uh, handle all the different feelings. Sometimes she is uh, in uh, Madhuya bath when she sees Mohan, but then when she is also in Mother Yashoda's kitchen, she gets all these different feelings, how Mother Yashoda is loving her. And also she is sharing so beautiful this Vatsaya Ras of Mother Yashoda she is also reciprocating by being shy and becoming very humble and uh, like a small her baby girl. And she's cooking. And Mother Yashoda is so happy when she's coming every day. So we can see that these different ornaments of, the, of her feelings, they are increasing and developing at every moment. And that is also for the mandris. It's a field of expertise that they can look it and also respond and behave in the right way. They assist her when she is in the kitchen, she, they are cooking, but then of course she is cooking for her beloved Mohan and she puts all her rag, all her, her feelings in that uh, cooking. Whereas before when she was greeting Mother Yashoda, she was expertly reciprocating with the Vatsaya Bab of Mother Yashoda. So that is the beauty of all these different feelings and all these different ornaments that go with it. 
And the ornaments are the eyes. They are giving the glances. They are giving also the feelings. That's why we always love to look in each other's eyes. We, we are also seeing the love in the eyes of our brothers and sisters, and especially of Gurudev. I miss to look in your eyes, Gurudev, but soon I will be looking again. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that, that, that's, that's that's what I want to add as well. That somehow it's not just perfect love; it's the, it's the model for our. It's teaching us to love, mm -hmm. teaching us how to seek the bliss of our lover, our the one we care about, the one where our mother, our father, our spouse. Yes, we want to clear the love in their eyes, and we want to make them. Smile and happy. <laughs> and goosebumps. Goosebumps. And <laughs> yeah, deal. When I sing, I would love that all the bodies have goosebumps, but uh, I cannot also produce it. It's a mercy oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> So that is also the beauty of, of, of helping each other to feel. And to also, when we are together, like for example, you know, all know this, when we are together in the room with Gurudev and all the Vaishnavas, then it becomes more condensed and the feelings become a little bit um, intense, more intensified, as if I'm alone, maybe. Because at the moment when we are together, what happens when we are sharing together, then everyone will put their feelings inside the whole um situation that we are like worshiping for example here the ornamentation and with every every feeling that everyone might add the relish will increase that's why the zooms our zoom conferences are more beautiful if so many devotees are increasing the feelings or food Dave is increasing our feelings. It's it's also some kind of um, reaction that we are having together. And when special devotees come together in a group, it's uh, it's almost guaranteed that some very beautiful emotions, some very beautiful ornamentation will happen. For example, when uh, Gopinath, who is the master of ornamentation, of Shimate Radhika's and Mohan's Kunj in uh, Vrindavan, we already know that every time there will be another, you know, ecstasy of ornamentation, which has been coming through his desires to ornament and to make the Shringa Ras higher. So that's why Nada Tom Das Taku is singing about the glories of this beautiful, beautiful divine couple day at night. So, yes, I think it is already so, I feel already so happy that you have been inspired by the subject of ornamentation. And I think uh, the more we go in our individual in, in individual uh, meditations while chanting, it can be more uh, ornamented. You know what I mean? Actually, this is the meaning of our Maha Mantra meditation is to get out of my own Leela, my human Leela, but to go into their Leela to feel how can I be an assistant in your in your service, in your ornamentation, and in your preparation, what is needed now during the day. And I like it when Baba is saying that uh, that Bhakti is the form of service to Sri Radha, Radha and Mohan. And it is that kind of service where they will from within come in our hearts and be the happiness of the devotee. So that is, is very beautiful. It's not that we are asking for happiness, 
but they become our happiness because they are happiness, love, and rasa personified, and they have appeared to give themselves by the mercy of our dear Goranga Mahaprabhu. They have come together. And Nityananda has opened the, the storehouse of mercy. So that is a very special time we are living in. We are we are able to, to somehow connect to this special mercy of Nitai Goranga, of Radha Mohan, and get more and more into the feelings of ornamentation, of glorification. And that is what uh, Nara Tomdas Thakur is singing. Abharana mani maya Rati ange abhinaya Kohe dina nata madasa And he is singing it because he has seen it. And because he is experiencing it, when we hear the songs and when we hear the sound vibration from those who are also living in their transcendental senses, it becomes very uh, easy for us to also feel something. That is a blessing that he's giving. And I was very inspired because that is uh, actually, Baba says it's easy. It's easy to understand that the author had direct experience from all these songs, what he is expressing with his heart, with his soul, with his bar. We can easily be also inspired and infused by these feelings. And I think it's a blessing, Gurudev, that you love him so much and his songs, and that you also immediately by hearing these prayers, you also get into your deepest feelings of your service to the divine couple to Shimati Radhika. That's what I feel when I hear, when I see you always relishing the songs of, of, of Naratam Das Thakur. And the thing is, Gurudev, what I like to also mention. When I feel, for example, so we, all of us, your disciples and your devotees, when we feel that you are feeling these, you know, beautiful feelings, then they also come to us. That is the blessing in bhakti. It is nothing artificial. It's just observing the feelings of our dear uh, Vaishnavas, of our dear Gurudev, of our Guru Manjari. Trying to feel the feelings already gives some feelings to my little heart, and then I can also connect. That is the flow of mercy in bhakti. It is not so much that I have to produce it. I just connect to those who are already living in the flow of love. Right, Udavaji? Is that what you feel when you are in Vrindavan? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, love is in love. You can't see love, can you? How do you know that somebody loves you or you love? How does that person know you love them? You can't see it except for the ornaments, except for the little signs in the eyes or the little, the little reflex of the lip or the blush or the goosebump or the little hair. How do you know? It's a silent communication. And this is telling us how we know through the ornaments. Yes, we are always every day looking and waiting for some ornaments of love in our little heart also to get some inspiration. And we are so lucky that we have the mercy of Gurudev that who give us the gist of the love. In this case, from Prema Bhakti Chandrika, it's the love of Naratam Das Thakur and Ananda Das Babaji and Vishwana Chakravati Thakur who are commenting. And this is so beautiful because they are also giving the love of their you know, experience and their masters. And then the emotional ornaments may also come to my heart. They may also touch um, 
my spiritual senses and make them alive even because usually like you say i try to experience uh, love through my material senses that is also beautiful when i can see how somebody is smiling and i can be happy when when my guru is smiling and he's happy with our endeavors our services and Radha Mohan's dress, beautiful group, beautiful Shringa. But actually, I think there's another dimension that goes along with it, and that is the becoming alive of the spiritual senses. And then in this consciousness, I can serve Radha Mohan with my spiritual senses, and that is what also is the goal of all our Goswamis of Naratam Das Thakur, always longing for some more service and some more uh, realization of the spiritual senses so that Shimati Radhika's service can also become more uh, confidential and more internal. Yes, I think it is uh, about the the gist of this uh, beautiful, beautiful verses today, where he is singing about their decoration and how the decorations are <sighs> enhancing each other. I was just reading also yesterday in this connection in Vilapa Kashmantali, who wrote this verse 37, is that Shimati Radhika has one angada, she has one one very nice uh, ornament on her left uh, arm and then Tulsi Manhari is putting another string of jewels next to it and then I really it was so beautiful just meditating about this service and then Baba says that the upper one is the male one and the one with the string and the jewels jewels on it is the female so with every little service, what she does on Shrimati Radhika's transcendental uh, body, she is bringing them together also. She unites the two uh, ornaments so that it's like Radha and Mohan are coming together in every moment, in every movement on the transcendental body of Shrimati Radhika and she feels it. And the maidservant also has this intention when she is doing the ornamentation. And at the same time, when she's doing it, she is talking to Swamini, how was the last meeting? Do you remember how Mohan was decorating your lotus feet with his tears? So the, the service of the mantras is to increase the love in every step. Not only in the transcendental service of Srimati Radhika's beautiful, beautiful body, but also to remind us that in our everyday life, we also try to be that beautiful, beautiful flower girl that is bringing the love into the lives of the people that we are together. We try to do that with our words and with our friendly uh, smiles and our loving eyes to give you know, everyone that we meet some little kindness and some little memory of that we are all part of Shrimati Radhika's beautiful, beautiful love and the service that she gives to Mohan. And then we can again connect it from our daily lives that we have here on this planet Earth and also come back when we have the, you know, desire to see how Mandri is doing it inside and outside. And then, like you always teach us, Woody, we are in this Vajana Kriya mood. We try to always remember that we are the servants of the Lord. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. 
so you are lucky in life, Vrindavan. And soon we will be together also. And we can share. And we can be inspirations of ornamentations to each other. <laughs> and take the glances of each other. And feel the desires to become more expert also. And more uh, stable in our stay baths. In our steady feelings of our services in any circumstance in every moment and in all you know in all our it doesn't matter if i am now in the human body or if i desire to be shimate radikas kasi this all goes hand in hand and slowly but surely we will grow can i buy you back in vrindavan jai <laughs> i just saw him <laughs> hey daddy <laughs> Oh, nice. Okay, anybody else would like to share something? Please always be invited to increase the ornamentations. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Radhe Radhe. <coughs> Radhe 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 is Gopal here oh. um, thank you so much for uh, for this elaboration on ornamentation we yesterday it, it left me with many questions ornamentation um, in reading or at least listening to the verses about ornamentation and the different um, Subtleties of love, I believe, is uh, the phrase that Udava had, had utilized. And this was uh, helpful for me, at least to, yeah, to, to get a bit more understanding when it comes to, well, what does this mean for us in our day to day? Um, and I think it was also during yesterday that someone had, uh, I think it was Jananda maybe, perhaps, who had said that, you know, when we're in the day to day, when we ourselves are ornamenting ourselves, whether through how we dress or, or, um, you know, how we carry ourselves even, uh, this, um, the, 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 the push that we have behind it isn't necessarily for, for others reactions to, to feed our own egos, but we're doing it out of, a uh, what was it? Unmotivated devotion. And for me, this really made sense. And, and today for you, to, to elaborate on this was really helpful to, to wrap my head around it because one, one thing is to, to listen to the beautiful ornamentation that they are both sharing with each other, both directly and indirectly, um, but how this translates into the day-to-day, -day, at least for me, makes it uh, much more clear. And especially when it comes to, you know, you had touched on this, um, when we're together and when we are sharing, this in and of itself is ornamentation. And this reminded me of something I came across today, this phenomena of spontaneous synchronicity that you see this happen in nature naturally and also in humans as well. And especially, I think this is even more relevant here uh, amongst Vaishnavas and devotees because here we infect others, not just with our, our smiles and our, and our feelings of, of, well, however it is that we're feeling, but also um, I'm reminded of uh, my, my brother Kanuda Sagar, who uh, reminded me of being vulnerable with one another. This is also an ornamentation. This encourages all with a, a deeper sense of, of sharing. And this is another subtlety of love. So, yeah, this was, uh, at face value, ornamentation was so hard for me to really conceptualize. But especially after today, this was very helpful. So, thank you very much. Rade. Thank you, Gopal. So beautiful, <coughs> very encouraging, and important how to to transfer it all in our daily lives, but also to feel it, not theoretically, but actually feel it when we are together. And I, I also feel the same like you. When I meditate on the precious moments that we have when we are increasing each other's feelings, these are really like the jewels in the heart that we take with us. And these jewels, they, they develop more and more. Sometimes they, you know, seem to be forgotten, but then it needs only some help, a little bit of help. And then, oh, yes, I, there was this jewel I had already forgotten. 
it is in my heart and somebody reminds me, ah, oh, these are the jewels that we need to feel our bhakti every day and again renewed and refreshed, <laughs> like an update, <laughs> a daily update in the Vrindavan mood. Yeah. You are so lucky, uh, Vrindavan. But I also feel lucky that I can hear you, that you are sharing. I feel happy. Who came there, Gurudev? Is this our pra uh, Premananda? Is this Premananda from Switzerland? Did yes, you yes. Know? Yes, yes, Radhe. But no, Radhe, Radhe, we're on the telephone. <laughs> we'll get back to you in a minute. <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> So happy dich zu sehen, Jai Radhe, so nice, huh? my God. Good day, what are you doing? All your jewels are coming. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Very nice. So we are happy that all the devotees are coming to jewel. Jewel up more <laughs> ecstasy <laughs> to ex exchange their feelings and to get blessed and get more deeper in our bhakti and serve and you know be in the in the love to Radha Mohan and exchange more feelings. Uh, I want shortly to say a um, few words. Uh, we have we, we were so inspired from this question here in this room here in the basic. We are four people together and we are very, we have, we have say, okay, it is a question. She comes slowly and slowly. And it's so important, uh, to, to make the, the question. You make the question. And we have, I have a feeling, uh, it is my whole life. I can find out which way this, uh, these big objects with the ornaments. I have no idea and I'm very in, 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 um, inspired? inspired and interest. interested. Uh, I, I'm very curious. Also. Curious. Pe pe I, I'm now very curious what it is <laughs> for, <laughs> for the question. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. I'm only this I want to say. <laughs> so, yeah. That means that means, uh, can you tell something more about or give a, an answer <laughs> a little bit more for the question? I think Gopal. the question was answered by your own, uh, you know, I feel that, Gopalji. I think your question of, or, or maybe your uh, meditation on the subject of ornamentation, I felt it was answered in your own uh, reflecting on the whole subject. Or did I miss anything major? Please correct me. Uh, no, no, there was nothing that I, I mean, this was just my very, I only began meditating on this 24 hours ago. So <laughs> I haven't come, <laughs> come very far when it comes to the theme of, of ornamentation. But of course, it, it always kind of piqued my, my interest every time it came up. But the combination between today and what you both, um, you and Uluva had shared today, Tied in yesterday's, yeah, this this idea of both motivated and unmotivated devotion. Um, mm. I feel this ties in very intimately when we talk about ornamentation, because ornamentation it can be easily be seen as a as a motivated devotion. You're doing it for a specific outcome or for a specific reaction, whether it is for even for your own ego. But unmotivated devotion, I feel, when we're talking about it today and this idea of of ornamentation, this. I, I don't know. There, it makes a little bit more sense to me. I don't know if uh, I don't. Yeah, from my very limited experience and, and perspective, it's slowly making sense. But um, yeah, at least. But I wish to communicate. It was certainly helpful. You you continue to wonderful, illuminate it. Wonderful. Yeah. Yes, I think it's a subject that is a you know elaborate subject, as Prabhupada says also about überhaupt raga nuga bhakti. It's a subject that is never ending. It can always increase. And it depends also on our own eagerness. And we can feel it. And it's also, like you said, synchronicity. No, did I say <laughs> synchronicity? When we are now also, why did I pick this verse? I didn't know. Because Gurudev gave me free choice of the verses. <laughs> but we are somehow connected so we can help each other to get 
more feelings in the way that we want to develop. And so I'm feeling very happy. Thank you for giving your insights, Gopal. And I think, yeah, we can continue to meditate on it and exchange. And that something will slowly, slowly come in my heart. And it's ongoing. It's never like, oh, I got the questions and I got the answers. That is a, like a limited uh, concept. But actually, the frame of my consciousness, of my heart, is expanding when I meditate on a certain subject of the unlimited love of Radha Mohan. Mm -hmm. 